Hello and welcome to floor 8 of episode 6, the penultimate floor of the episode and indeed of the original game and nocturnal missions. Grab this ammo at the start here and we're going to start our long path down this very long winding S-Bend corridor. Make sure you grab all the chalices in the corners here. Now, treasure in this map is a bit of a pain. It's all just single bits hidden in corners. Now at the start it's not too bad, but it'll soon uh, be hidden against golden wall textures, which means it's very difficult to spot. For now, I'm going to move my around. Oh, he got a lucky shot off there. And now we're going through the center corridor. This whole area on our right-hand side is a huge set of rooms. Here's the door into it. If I keep pressing on here and then go to this corner, we have our first secret, which leads back to the starting area. So you can see that's a massive sequence of rooms here. But I'm going to keep going down this corridor for now. Kill a couple more guards. And turn around for our second secret. This blood splatter wall here. This has a medikit, chain gun, and some treasure. I'm using the machine gun because uh, ammo in this level is incredibly scarce. Our third secret is between these two uh, blood splatters walls. This is filled with ammo. I know I just said that ammo was scarce, but <laughs> it will become scarce later on. And here is the door into the second sequence of rooms. This map is essentially two floors from earlier episodes smashed together into one massive behemoth of wall. Now on the right hand side here we have our fourth secret, which leads back to the center corridor. I'm going to head through and go into uh, this room here. Switch to the chain gun just to clear it off quick. Back and go back to the machine gun. In fact, I'll stick with the chain gun for now because I know that the ammo is less of a problem in the first set of rooms and more of a problem in the second set. Now, the way the rooms work in this area is that when you shoot the group of enemies in the room you're currently in, the next two rooms or so will be alerted to you. So what will happen is you'll be fighting off one group of enemies and then the next room, which will have multiple doors leading into it, will all be alerted to you and they'll start pouring into the room from various different angles and it quickly overwhelms you. So deal with those two. Watch out for this door on the right. It's going to open behind me, but I'm going to grab that treasure first. There should be an officer in here somewhere. Where is he? Somewhat troubling. I expected there to be an officer around here. Maybe not. I'm going to skip over that door on the left. And approach from it. There he is. He's woken up a dog as well. That's fine. Because on our left here is another uh, shoe I don't like going through this door normally because the dog is right behind you and will attack you in the back. I'm going to go into this room. And at the end here, you have some more treasure. Another shoe stuff. Watch out for the next room of enemies. And the two officers on either side of this door. Deal with them. Ammo's getting quite low, so I'm switching to the machine gun. Grab the two chalices, turn around, because we're about to get a bunch of shoe stuff all through this door here. One more in there. Oh, there's an officer. In this corner is a bit of ammo, much needed. Now, this door on the right, enemies are going to start coming through there once I engage the enemies in this room. So I'm going to try and deal with these guys as quick as I can. And turn back to deal with these guys. Now, ammo is quite low now. I think that should be it. But not all the enemies in the next room respond to sound. Some of them only respond to sight. So, go in, deal with that guy, and another guy. And we have our sixth secret now, if I'm not miscounting. With some much needed ammo in it. I'll switch back to the chain gun now. Another secret at the end of this room, seventh secret. Has some health, and some ammo. 
Moving on. Right, there's some health on our left, but a group of enemies on our left. Turn back to this door. Start piling through it. Grab another secret in this corner. There's so many secrets in this first set of rooms, but no secrets whatsoever in the second set. Grab the treasure in here, but don't forget about this secret bit of treasure in that corner as well. Watch out for the section on the left. Coming up on the final room now of this first set of rooms. Where are they all? Come on. <laughs> Very nearly at the end. And that's it clear. We have a secret there. I'm just going to push that into the corner. Start collecting the ammo and treasure. And there's the gold key. And the final secret of the floor leads us back to the center corridor here. So I'm going to stay with the chain gun for now. I'll switch back to the machine gun shortly. I'm going to clear out the first one. This next one is going to be Grab this ammo. And now I'm going to quickly run back, get some more ammo here, and switch back to the machine gun. And I'll be using this for the rest of the episode now. The rest of the floor, I should say. Now, watch out here. There's a group of guys on the left. Guys will come from the right as well. There's usually two shoe stuff on the right. Should be one more. Once he's dealt with, grab the ammo and press on. We have some health and ammo here. Probably a bit wasteful to pick up that medikit and we're gonna gonna need it. This room is really tough because there's a, a large group of enemies and a door at the far end which opens to reveal a second group of uh, equally dangerous enemies. Wow, they've pushed me back here. Let's go forwards. Keeping an eye on that door as well. Looks like someone's coming from the right. So people can come through from the left as well. All these doors are together. Don't miss any treasure though. I have some health to go back to there if I need it, that's useful. More health there, so I've got at least, what, 55% health, that's good. This room is especially challenging. Uh, I'm tempted to use the chain gun, but I'm just going to stick with the machine gun. The door on the right with the broken signs, it will open and reveal more enemies into the room. Oh wow, okay. Few of them. Someone else is coming through. Another guy. And you want to be careful standing in this room because they can go through this door as well. Don't miss that treasure there hidden in front of the gold eagle. And in this room, the iron key. So this is the halfway mark of this second set of rooms. Someone's alive, there it is. That open door there, it took me a while to recognize what it was. Someone was walking around. Let's just quickly check no one's coming around behind us. Okay, all good. Another bit of uh, treasure there. Easily missed, as is this one. And this next room is an especially challenging area. I mean, the whole level is, essentially. Once again, a door at the far end of the room will open. So it kind of stops you from being able to hold one position right in front of this door because they're far enough away that your guns is not going to damage them enough to deal with them quickly. There is a shoestuffle right there. He's just firing a silenced machine gun by the sounds of things. Or by the lack of sound, I should say. Anyway, we're now ready to move on. Looks like this squad is dealt with, but this room is going to have another number of distant enemies here. Let them come towards us. Makes it easier for us to deal with them. And another squad of enemies has just entered the fray here. Try and grab some ammo there. 22 is another lot. This is not good at all. I might need to backtrack here. And this is using the machine gun as well. Oh, no. Now, there's one bit of treasure here. It's so easy to miss it if you rush into this room. Hidden in the corner. Some ammo on the ground here. Is 25 bullets enough? I really don't think it is. Ammo on the left. Oh, this is definitely not enough ammo. 
Let's let them come to us. No. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. No. Okay. This is not good. Ten bullets. Let me out of here. Retreat. <laughs> Let's go back and uh, grab that helmet. Well, the good news is, now that I've stocked up on ammo, we have to use the chain gun again. Thankfully, there was this secret filled with ammo around this corner. I guess in this sense, the ammo is not really a problem, it's just that there's going to be a lot of backtracking involved if you want to get it. And I do want to try and keep that to a minimum for this last play. Anyway, let's try and get back there as quick as we can. We don't want them running into any uh, unknown parts of the map. Bad for us. We're almost back. This seems to be where they got caught up in this corner. You know, our ammo is still not that great. I might switch back to the Another easily missed piece of treasure there. Multiple guys on the map. Deal with them. And the final room here that requires the iron key. That door you heard open is the exit. Come on, so close. Could that be it? Looks like it. Final enemy, just to catch you out at the very end. 34 health is not a lot to carry into the final level, but I think we should be okay. Let's make a save here. See how we did. 100% kills. I'm so nervous right now. 100% secrets. Come on. Oh, thank God. What a level. I mean, that is... Episode 6 really puts you through your faces. I mean, it's really challenging. Thankfully, that's the end of that. We've now got over a million in score. I will see you tomorrow for the final episode.